Hi, I'm Shaking Gaming, and you're watching my rune guide for Dragon Champions. In this video, I'm going to explain a bit about my rune guide for Dragon Champions, the various sets, and which characters should be used, which sets and which primaries, depending on what content you're playing at. There's a link in the description for the full guide. It's on the badc.info blog, but you can find that in the description below. Of course, you're welcome to subscribe or like the video if you like it, uh, to get notifications on future content. That's it for the intro, I think. The guide itself is put into various sections. I've made a, a section for elves, pandas, humans, and so on, demons, orcs, goblins, and pride. For each faction, there's the names of the different characters, there's the primary suggestion for general content, there's a secondary suggestion, and then there's a raid suggestion. On top of that, the primaries on northeast, south, and northwest are also uh, suggested here. The primary suggestion will usually be used uh, for PvE content as well as PvP, while the raid obviously is for raid content. Most of the primary suggestions only have one but some of them have two different ones. Uh, this one example is if you use set one, use critical damage. And if you go for a raid setup, use CC or critical hit chance. The explanations of the aberrations are out here. As a general rule, the tanks have armor, armor, armor. That simply gives the most effective health uh, for the tanks, uh, shown by calculations of the armor percentages compared to the armor values, and factoring in health and shield. Armor, armor, armor will give the most estimated health pool for every tank, but some of them have uh, incentives to, to vary uh, slightly from this. Support characters, debuffers, turn meter removal characters, that's generally speed and potency. Healers, you want speed set on all of them. Um, pure damage dealers, the most effective combination of runes and primaries for a damage dealer is a set of, let me find one, yeah this one, foul, critical hit chance and damage set, one of each combined with speed on the northeastern primary and critical damage on the southern primary and damage on the northwestern primary. This is the strongest setup. In nearly all uh, situations this will be the strongest. There are some cases where critical hit chance and critical damage set will outperform it, but you need a lot of critical hit chance and most characters are not able to get this. But a lot of the characters aren't just pure damage dealers, they have other purposes as well and therefore even the characters that normally are considered the high damage dealers aren't necessarily using the, this combination of the set and these primaries. I will talk a bit about the general runs and especially going into those that have different variations. 
Elyria, you want her fast and you want her not to get stunned or dazed or anything else. She isn't the best healer and in most cases you won't use her. So that's it for her really. Failure, you want either a damage set or you want a critical hit chance with potency set. If you want the poisons to stick, then this is your better option. In a raid setup, I recommend a third option, going for speed and potency, to apply as many debuffs as possible. She can go with the best setup for damage dealing if you choose set 1, but in raid I would go with critical hit chance. Kelgrim, that's the basic tank setup, armor, 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 in everything. You can choose armor or shield in the primary northeast. Shield will give you most benefit in the southern primary and some tenacity to avoid getting uh, the taunt dispelled. Nightshield, she can go several different ways depending on what you want. If you want uh, speed to apply the buff for everyone, damage up, I would recommend comparing it with critical hit chance. If you want her as a damage dealer, you take the, the normal setup with critical hit chance and damage, then you'll probably swap this out to uh, critical damage as well. In a raid setup, I would go with the protect potency instead to uh, clear those buffs on the bosses. Senjil, you want him to heal a lot, that's why I went for damage on him. Could also go for speed, but he's low health in either case, so we want some health on top of it. Sharp, he's the classic damage dealer, but the elves are a bit uh, non-ordinary here because, as I said, critical hit chance and damage set is the strongest in nearly every case. But with the elves getting very high critical hit chance, I think actually that the critical hit chance, critical damage sets will do better. Again, with critical damage uh, on the, the primary. Talan is a bit special, but she's not out yet. She might be changed the biggest damage dealer in the game, if she isn't nerfed before released, that is. Sharp Talan and Wonder Luna are more or less the same really. That was all the elves, now I'll go a bit quicker over the rest of them. Only talking about those that are interesting or have variations. Ember can be built two ways pure damage dealing or with potency to inflict more fire, more burning I mean. Hilda, normal armor, 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 but in a raid you want her to, uh, if you plan on using her in a raid, you want potency because she can remove a lot of turn meter. Um, therefore she's also got a lot of different options over in the primary section. Kin Lee, he is a bit different in the... Uh, I'm not suggesting armor, armor, armor on him. And that's due to the fact that he regens 20% of his max health pool every turn if he got a, lot, a large health pool then he will regen a lot more. So in the long run this will make him a lot tankier going with one or two health sets, but he still needs one or two armor sets to make him uh, live those turns to regen. That's a bit of a balance with, balance with him. Lake. You definitely want speed on Lake to go fast, whether you go with potency or critical hit chance. Might not make that big, big of a difference. Master Duel. Potency. 
and speed or speed and uh, critical hit chance. He's not very good in any content except for Raid where he shines the most of all. And here I would go with potency, potency, potency and another potency unless you have very good runes. Then you can take out one potency set. But you just need to reach those 78.2% potency. Otherwise he is far worse than he can be. His full potential, you need full potency. But there's no reason to go higher than 78.2%. So as soon as you hit that ceiling, turn, turn it down. Patriarch Cree, you want him fast and you want him to live to apply those big shields. Rin, she has a lot of uh, critical hit chance, so that's why I'm recommending the critical damage set here. Krill, fast, Darian, armor, 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 Eric. He is the classical damage dealer, so there's no doubt about his setup. Freeze out can go different ways depending on the content and which role you want him to fill. Uh, so you can go with critical hit chance and potency, or you can go with critical hit chance and speed. And even further, you can go with potency and speed and raid. So he's got a lot of different options. It's not really a set in stone room set for freeze out. There's just a lot of different ways to build him really. And uh, all of them can be great. It's just a matter of putting him on the right team, the right setup and the right content. Fatty, armor, armor, armor. Unless you want some tenacity to keep the taunt up and you want some potency to have blind stick or remove buffs. In Raid, Little Baddy's primary role is the same as Master Duel, potency, 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 until you reach the 78.2%. In Raid, you want speed on the primary. Other than that, you just want her slow. Robin Bad is potentially a very, very good character, but his skills are so incredibly low in a raid, he could really shine. The other content is meh. But his stats on potency and critical hit chance are so low that you really only want potency and critical hit chance on everything on him for raid content. And still, it's hard to reach above 60% critical hit chance and 70% potency, those two combined. It's very hard to reach any further than that. Um, but I guess my runes just aren't good enough yet. He can be good and he can be even better with four dot purple mods. If you can get the right worlds on them, then you can be almost as good as duo. But without very, very good mods, He's just mediocre, really. Snorri, pure damage dealing or inflict bleeds for, for example, Revolt to take uh, advantage of. Solius, there's no doubt he wants speed all the way, and then you can go without, with either tenacity or health. Buff, not released yet. Kyra, you can go with speed to be able to give the, the rest of your team speed. Uh, I mean, um, turn meter every time she goes stealth and to make the stealth uh, more frequent. Or you can go with a damage set. Mega Wheel is actually the most tanky character in the game. If you pair him up with armor, 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 he is for sure, as a solo character at least. Some of the others will be even tankier with uh, the right allies, 
that as a solo character. Mega Wheel is your most tanky character. Puncher Face, I recommend pure damage dealing, but he has a high critical hit chance and um, yeah. Maybe I should put in a CC damage set a second. Shader, speed and potency, no doubt about it. Great content could be slightly different. Slinger has this passive that gives him critical hit chance or critical damage every time he takes a turn. So he's a bit special, he can go several different ways, but all around all revolving around critical hit chance, that's for sure. Venomate is rarely used without Kyra, and Kyra's damage go up. She's a big damage dealer, and if you can put a lot of poison on the enemies, which you need potency for, Kyra really starts to shine. So that's why there's a lot of potency here. Santara, you want her to live, you want her to be fast. That's it. Diesel Rock, not very used, but with Orcs, you can go, he should go one way. With Goblins, he should go another way because he gets a lot, a lot, a lot. Critical hit chance with Goblins, while he doesn't with Orcs. So that's his two different options. Harlock, you want him to take as many turns as possible because all those debuffs that he removes and uh, cheat death he applies. So it's all about survival. I recommend the Tenacity version. The potency one can help apply bleed if you have other characters that benefit from it, but my main option would be Tenacity. Corcoran, again, not a very good character. He should be fast. He should apply burns for others to take advantage of. Ma, critical hit chance and critical damage. He is a pure damage dealer, but with his uh, ability to apply both critical hit chance and critical damage up on himself, I recommend this setup for him. More Doom, not released yet, not going to come on him. Morta, she could use a damage set as well to increase her mediocre healing. But on the other hand, she is one of the squishiest characters in the great game, so I actually recommend buffing as much health into her as you can possibly do. But there's also another option, giving her speed. Uh, Rantha, the absolute most squishy character in the game. Uh, the only way she can survive for any damage whatsoever is getting that battle poo up, which then she has decent survivability, but the bear usually dies very quick and then she's back to having no mitigation and no health. So you really want her. In, in raid content she's good in phase 4 against the dragon because her bear can taunt and uh, absorb some hits and she can apply this uh, five, six arrow uh, shot that takes all the shields away from the dragon, which is very, very good. And then you want her fast, but she does no damage. She has a good leader ability. You, you really just want her to survive, to apply, to give the leader to the rest of the orc team. And you want her to, to shoot her arrow storm. That's all you really want the Ramtha to do, and then have the bear absorb a few hits. So I don't see any point in doing any damage or CC on her. She does no damage anyway. Trumgar, two different options. Armor, 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 or armor, armor, potency. The reason why I went for potency on Trumgar is that he uh, needs to apply these stuns that he have a 50% chance of doing every time he hits anyone and on all his retaliates. So at least one potency set is very good and potency or tenacity in raid for the Northwestern. In raid you can't stun anyone so um, 
Well, not the bosses at least, so I just recommend going armor, armor, armor on him there. Two factions left. Amara, potency for those burns, and critical chance, critical chance. In raid, you want even more potency to apply those burns, depending on who she's paired with, of course. Atom, armor, 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 or armor, armor, health, because his health pool is very, is, well, his health pool is decent. His armor is shit. So it's a bit of a mish, mishmash here. Um, armor is the better one, but on the other hand, health scales better on him compared to the armor. So he's not a very good tank. You, you really only want to use Atom if he's on a pure goblin team with Murdoch and Instructor Goron, then he can be very good. But in all other content, or team compositions, don't use Atom, so. Murdoch, fast, potency to apply those wonderful debuffs that he does and turn meter removal. Uh, he's very plain. Instructor Garm, if you pair him with Atom, you could go with CC, CC, CC. Fast and critical hit chance. That's really one you want on, on what you want on him to have Atom constantly taunting. Major shot, he's just like uh, General Murdoch. Potency speed to apply blinds just as fast as possible and possibly potency, potency, potency in raid because his potency is shit. Old Lur, don't use him, but if you have to, use one of the classic sets. Pigwall, definitely use him on a goblin team. Go for the classical CC and damage set. Tanessa, not out yet, not coming, commenting on her. For the last faction, Bori, classic damage dealer, but he already gets some uh, Depending on who he, he's teamed up with, he could he could potentially use the critical damage, critical hit chance set, or the classic critical hit chance damage set. That's up for debate, really. Hera, she doesn't do a lot of damage, but she has a lot of utility. You want her fast. Kagi, mediocre damage again. I recommend going as fast as possible and probably tenacity to avoid her getting, or him, I don't know what Kagi is, but to avoid stuns and debuffs. Um, the main purpose of Kagi is applying the speed up, or buffing boring, really. Renara, so far my tests show her as a mediocre healer or midfield. She's definitely not uh, anything like Celius if you expect that. You want her fast. Um, so she can re the the unique you, the unique thing about Renara is that she can uh, resurrect someone. Her heal is strong, her resurrect is strong, but the rest is less than mediocre really. So you want her to live and you want her to be fast and you want to time those heals correctly. For some content, she will be very, very good. For example, uh, the challenges, if you have trouble going to the top in the healer uh, daily challenge that comes up three times a week, she will be key to resurrecting one of your characters if they die so you can freestyle it. Things like that, Renara will really shine. And there might be some pride teams where she will um, shine as well, but those have still to be discovered, I think. Reval, one of the biggest damage dealers in the game. You want the normal classical setup for damage. Salvador, he is the second no third tank that I don't use armor, armor, armor on. And the reason why is he's got one of the highest mitigations of all in the game. But um, 
so he could use some health. The second thing is that he regains some of his health on his basic and therefore you want more health. So I recommend one or two health sets together with armor on Selvanov. Varun, he isn't a great damage dealer, but he is great at applying poisons. So you want potency on him. On him. Lastly, there's Yogi, another blinder, just as major shot. You want him as fast as possible and you want potency on him as much as possible. But he has a rather high natural potency uh, rating, so you don't need to go full in potency as on some of the others, which is definitely a strength for him. A very good character that I'm farming myself currently. But there's still a long way until he's 7 star, sadly. If you have him, take him up. He is awesome in the raid. That was everything for the runes part. I will post this full list on badc.info blog, link in the description below. Um, again, subscribe if you want to be notified about when I release new content. Other than that, have a great day.